welcome back to Skincare with Ashley, where I help you perfect your skincare needs, every single one of you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, it means a lot to me. If you're new to this channel, why not consider subscribing, joining the family, we can all just geek out on skincare together, hopefully by the end have perfect skin. So today I'm going to be doing a review of these L'Oreal Pure Clay Masks. This is the packaging I am talking about. So there are actually six of them in the range, but I've only got five of them just because these five I do think are more popular and the bright mask, which is the yellow one, is not easily accessible anymore. Now I have used them all in the past, so I've had quite a good use out of them. Now all these masks actually have the same three clays in, so that's just going to help draw out impurities, excess oil, dirt and grime from the pores, and then they've got a specific thing that's like unique to each of them so that's going to target a specific issue so what I'm actually going to do is just run through each of them just tell you a little bit about them and then I'm just going to do a comparison and then I'll let you know if I'm actually planning on repurchasing any of these again and what my favorites are so let's get started with the blemish mask so this has got marine algae as well as the three clays so marine algae is supposed to tackle blemishes now this is a thick creamy consistency it glides on the skin really nicely really easily it's just smooth nothing in it it just feels really nice i really love this mask a lot to be honest and it's a gorgeous blue color so when you use it you end up looking like a smith for 15 minutes so when you put this on and you leave it on for like 15, 20 minutes, however long, now it does say 10 to 15 minutes on all of them, but some of them I actually feel like you can use them for a lot longer. So like this, I tend to use it a little bit longer. I just feel like it doesn't dry out your skin at all. It doesn't feel like you've got anything on your face, so you can literally even forget about it. It just feels so nice and comfortable. When you wash it off, your skin feels nice and refreshed. It does help to unclog your pores, which is to be expected anyway with the clays. And also, I do think it does a nice job at helping with blemishes. Now, when it comes to blemishes, that takes a long time. But overall, I just think this is a really nice one. I definitely think it's worth giving a try. But now, let's move on to the next mask, which is the glow mask now this one has got red algae in so this is meant to help with brightening your skin again a nice thick creamy consistency very similar consistency to the blue one except this one has got little exfoliating particles in it's got apricot seed powder which to be honest i don't mind this one again glides on the skin really easily doesn't feel like you've got anything on your skin dries really nicely doesn't over dry the skin at all just another great one it's got the little exfoliating particles so it also gives your face a little bit of a polish overall i'm not mad at this one i think it's quite a nice one as well now let's move on to the third mask i'm going to talk about which is the detox mask so now we've got the detox mask which has got charcoal in so that's going to help draw out even more impurities that's why this one's called the detox mask now this one again a nice thick creamy consistency goes on really nice and easily on the skin again very similar consistency no exfoliating particles at all so again very nice and smooth like the blue one except this one when it starts to dry and it doesn't take long at all it definitely starts to feel like you've got a proper mask on your face your face feels quite tight but you can see all the impurities coming out from your pores i think even sometimes you may even be able to feel a little bit and when you look in the mirror you can see all your individual pores it's as though it's literally got in there so this one I actually think is the best for doing a detox. I actually think this is the best for clearing your pores. But again, at the end, I am going to let you know all my favourites and why. Now when you rinse it off, it's actually not drying at all. Your skin actually feels really nice and it feels quite hydrated, to be honest, especially for a clay mask. But this one, definitely not really that comfortable and not really one you'd pick for like a pamper. But still a very nice one. 
now let's move on to the next one so this is the purity mask which is the green one this one's got eucalyptus in which is going to help purify your skin again a nice thick creamy consistency similar to the others maybe not quite as thick but again glides on the skin really easily feels really nice on the skin but like the black one kind of dries out quite hard on the skin so again you can definitely feel like you've got a mask on to be honest I'm not sure this one feels quite as tight as the black one I think that one might be a little bit more uncomfortable when it comes to like tightness however this one does tingle a little bit it's the only one that actually does does do quite a good job of clearing out your pores but not as good as the black mask and to be honest i definitely think there's not really much need for you to have this one and the black mask i think they are very similar now let's move on to the final one which is the soothing clay mask this gorgeous purple one now this has got mallow flower extract in which is just going to help soothe your skin again a creamy consistency but not as thick as the others so because of that i do think it's a little bit more difficult to get an even layer i don't think it applies as easily on the skin again still easy application feels really lovely on the skin to be honest definitely the mildest of them all so i think that's going to help with the soothing as well it's not going to be too harsh on your skin also it's just a light consistency so definitely does not dry your skin whatsoever feels really nice smells really nice it is the nicest smelling one now again all of them do help to draw out impurities but this one i definitely think is the mildest so i don't think it's going to do as good a job if that's what you're going for but i think if you've got normal skin if you've got dry skin and you just fancied a clay mask or if you've got a little bit of sensitive skin I definitely think this may be a nice option for you but now let me just do a little comparison with them just let you know my favorites and why and what I plan to repurchase so I'm actually gonna start off with the black one and the green one because these two I actually think are fairly similar so the black one dries quite hard on the skin also this one both of them you can definitely feel like you've got a mask on they do both do a good job at drawing out impurities clearing your pores i think the black one is a little bit better at doing that and also i think that the eucalyptus one or the purity one can tingle a little bit i definitely would buy this one again because again i think it does do the best job at drawing out impurities this one is a pass for me i don't think you need it when they've got this one so personally i just go for this one unless you were particularly interested in eucalyptus and now let's talk about this soothing mask this one feels quite nice on the skin i don't think it's as harsh I think it's a nice one just to use if your skin's a little bit more sensitive but you still want to use a clay mask. Again, a gorgeous fragrance, actually the best fragrance. Feels nice. Am I going to buy it again? This one is actually going to go in a maybe. Basically by that I mean not at the moment, not when it runs out. But sometime in the future, if I haven't had it for a couple of years and I just see it, maybe it's on offer, maybe I just feel like getting it. Definitely a possibility. It feels quite nice, but the other three are actually my favourite ones. Now, let's talk about the glow mask, which is the orangey one. Now, this one, again, feels really nice and gorgeous on the skin really comfortable i can have it on for as long as i want it's definitely not going to dry my skin when i wash it off my skin feels so nice and soft and that's because of the exfoliating particles the only thing i must say about this though is i wouldn't want to use it too often especially as i'm using chemical exfoliators as well but this one is definitely a really nice one. Now guys, when it comes to buying again, definitely gonna keep in my collection. I've got these three. So if you don't know already, I'm absolutely obsessed with this blue one, the blemish mask and the detox mask. Again, an absolute gorgeous one, just because it does the best job at detoxing, does the best job at clearing your pores. 
and this one again a really nice one so nice and comfortable the exfoliating particles are quite nice very fine so these three are my favorite these three i will buy again now my top one is the blue one without a doubt and these two i actually think are even just because they've both got different things going for them if i want a little bit of exfoliation this one if i want a little bit of a detox and actually clear from the inside rather than the surface this one definitely recommends these three anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i thoroughly enjoyed it if you've liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to see further content subscribe join the family all of you keep looking after your skin